Greetings! It's been a minute since my last episode. Uh, the last time I checked in back in March, I was pretty crabby. Uh, about a week after that podcast dropped, the U.S. unemployment peaked at almost 15%. For perspective, our highest unemployment rate during the Great Recession was a hair over 10%. So we are in uncharted territory. The service industry and gig economy have been bulwarks against poverty for a long time, and they're gone in the blink of an eye. All in all, coronavirus has killed around 13 million jobs. It's scary. And I know so many people who've been laid off. Uh, a friend of mine is actually one of the lucky ones. He was only on the street for a week before he got scooped up. Uh, I had a chance to check in with him right after he got hired, and he showed me the spreadsheet that he used to manage his job search. Now, uh, just to set the stage, this is a senior data scientist with about 20 years of experience in tech, so he's a pretty smart, capable guy. And yet, he's managing the most important project in his entire life with a spreadsheet. What's up with that? Uh, and that got me thinking, how do other people manage prolonged job searches? What if you don't know how to work a spreadsheet? What if you don't own a computer? How do you keep track of everything? If you recall the 2008 financial crisis, a four-month job search was pretty common, and that's a lot of stuff to manage. How long can you sustain a job search like that before you just give up? Thinking about that problem made me realize something I can do to help. Yeah, I can't influence policy, but I can code. So since my last episode, I built an app that helps people to manage prolonged job searches. And that explains why I haven't been podcasting much. I have a full-time job that's pretty demanding, and I have two young children who are always up in my grill. So the only time I have to work on my podcast is between 4.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. while my kids are still asleep. 4.30 a.m. <laughs> I know. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Uh, anyway, to make a long story short, instead of working on the podcast every morning, I've been working on this app instead. And after four months, I'm getting ready to launch. So uh, now we come to a fork in the road. Sadly, this episode of The Imposters Club is my farewell to you. Uh, ending this podcast is painful, I'm not going to lie, but it's a different world now. We don't need pundits right now. Punditry is appropriate in a world with full employment. In the post-COVID world, we need doers. It's time to get off the sidelines. Uh, to everyone who reached out to me about the podcast, thank you for your sincere and thoughtful feedback. I'm so grateful for the connections that I've made through this podcast, and I hope we can stay connected. If you're interested, uh, you can follow my next journey at hotprospect.app, A-P-P. I'm recruiting a beta test cohort right now, so if you're in the middle of a job hunt, or maybe you know someone who is, uh, you might want to peep this app. Uh, check it out at the link below.